sci-fi and fantasy short stories. Two Horror Short Stories by Roger Lay Story 1. The Hunt She tried to move quickly through the winter wood, but brambles tore at her clothes and legs. Her bare feet sank into the wet, black mud. Branches clawed down to entangle her. The excited yelping of the hounds spurred her on, but the softening ground sucked at every footstep. She fought for breath and tried to muffle the sound of her gasps. Crossing a clearing, she sank calf deep and could run no further. Looking back, she could see the dim light from the swinging lanterns of the huntsmen. Soon they would release the dogs. She raised her arms above her head in supplication and called to the night sky. There was no answer, but her arms and splayed fingers began to stretch and lengthen. Her toes grew, reached into the dark wetness, and gripped the roots and rocks they found down there. She felt her limbs and body stiffen, skin rigid and cracked, thorns sprouted. Sight fading, she heard the dogs as they panted past, their masters slogging after them. Slowly, sleep enfolded her, a deep sleep that would last until the spring and bud burst on the blackthorn she had become. Story 2. Vacant Possession this is the story of two fairly skinny white men on a planet that was dying fast. Of course, the men were men only in their own eyes. In the eyes of other species, they would have looked quite different. Oh, and it wasn't the planet that was dying. It was the planet's population. How long will it be before we can take vacant possession? Asked the larger of the two. They had been hovering over the Himalayas, admiring Mount Everest, but now they moved to ponder the vastness of the Saudi Arabian desert. Well, it's a half-life problem, Master. The population will be halved in two planetary rotations, and it will be halved again after the next two, and so on, said the other. They had moved to look down on the magnificence of the nearly empty city of Moscow. So, the hominids will always be here. Yes, master, but in very small numbers, and in an aboriginal form. The technology will collapse soon. <sighs> we would have preferred an uninhabited planet, but this solution is adequate, I suppose. The planet will be empty for all practical purposes, master, and it's hardly our fault if a random virus jumped from one species to another with drastic results. It's not as if we encouraged the process, said the junior of the two, glowing slightly yellow. Just lucky, then, said the older entity wryly. Oh, well, beggars can't be choosers, and there's really nothing left on Mars. We'll take it. Arrange for the population to move across at the next conjunction. I expect you'll get an enhancement for all your efforts. Thank you, Master. You won't regret this. Let me show you the Antarctic. I'm sure you'll like the penguins. Jolly little fellows. So comical. They drifted away. The Hunt is one of the stories in Roger Lay's speculative fiction collection, Dead People on Facebook, which has recently been republished with ten new stories in it. Roger also recently released a brand new techno-thriller novella called The Muslim Prince, now available on Amazon Kindle. It's an alternative history that hinges on futuristic surveillance techniques and what might have happened if Princess Diana hadn't died. Also, be sure to check out his brand new book, the Steampunk Adventures of Harry Lampeter. It's an adventure in a post-apocalyptic steampunk future version of our own world. Links in the description. Hey guys! I'm sure longtime fans of the show will recognize Roger's name, as he's 
one of the most prolific authors on Tall Tale TV with over 30 episodes. So if you liked these flash fictions, you will love his longer works. I'll leave links to where you can find those other stories down below. And also, if you get the chance, please go support him and pick up one of his amazing books. They're cheap, and they are well worth every cent. I'm Chris Heron, and that's it for today's Tall Tale TV.